What is going on everybody, Zionic here, and in today's video we are bringing a fun and unique team as the Great League is a fantastic place to try new Pokemon and build awesome teams. Now what I wanted to do is I saw that Venusaur does really well against the current meta that we do see on PV Pokes ranking, so I wanted to build a team around Venusaur. Now Venusaur is running with Vine Whip, Sludge Bomb, and Frenzy Plant. That Frenzy Plant is a community day move, so the only way you can get it is when Niantic gives us another event to be able to get that or use an elite charge TM or you can trade as well. Now we are also running Bastiodon. Venusaur and Bastiodon have a really nice core because anything that can really smash a Venusaur, Bastiodon can do really well against. So like a Skarmory, an Altaria, a Hypno that doesn't have Focus Blast and maybe some of those fire type Pokemon, right? Like a Lolan Marowak or a Charizard, something like that. Bastiodon is a fantastic wall to them. Now we also need Frostlass. Frostlass on the safe switch is so deadly. Now I did a couple sets today with this team. I did two sets um, with Powder Snow and I did two sets with Hex. So what we're gonna see is some of the highlights from those games. And from my personal experience here, Hex is fantastic when you lose lead, right? So say a Venusaur into a Flyer, right? And you lose lead, you swap into Frostlass. Hex is amazing. If you win lead and they swap something in, Frostlass does a lot of damage and it closes really well. That added Powder Snow damage is really nice. So I think both variants have some merit and we did well with them today. I did a 4-1 and a 2-3 um, with the Frostlass with Powder Snow and then I did a 4-1-3-2 with the Hex. I was able to flip more lead losses that way. Um, so we're going to take a look. The first half of the video will be Powder Snow and then the second half will be Hex. I'll put a timestamp down in the comments for you guys so you can check that out. But let's go ahead and get right into the battles. All right. Right, so starting things off we started the day off I think at 2387 and I got myself up to 2427 today now we have Venusaur versus Ferrothorn right here so pretty interesting matchup I can't really risk going into Frostlass but Venusaur can still do well um, the Sludge Bomb here is going to be resisted but it still does a decent chunk against Ferrothorn as you guys can see and Ferrothorn if they're running Thunder right here will be resisted um, and the Power Whip will be resisted as well so Thunder does hit us, doesn't do too much damage, but we can basically outpace it um, to Sludge Bombs and Thunders, which is really nice. So we're going to go ahead and stay in this right here. Venusaur is very fantastic right now in the current meta that we see, and we do see a swap into a Lolan Marowak, which is what the Bastion is for. The wall is for those Fires, for those Flyers, and for those Psychics, so we can really go to town right here. Now, one thing you got to watch out for is going to be Defense Form Deoxys, um, which can, has that counter damage, but it does really well. Now, What's interesting to take away from this matchup right here is we're going to overload a bit on energy and if they don't shield the Stone Edge, fantastic. If they do, we have to shield once. Alolan Marowak, so they do shield. Alolan Marowak has to get a, can get off multiple Bone Clubs right here, which will be doing super effective damage. So what you guys are going to see is I'm going to see how much damage Bone Club does. It chips away quite a bit of health and before we finish them off, they get to another Bone Club. So we need to maintain switch advantage. So I'm just going to go ahead and shield right here because I'm not sure what's in the back right so we are going to maintain switch advantage we have a flamethrower ready to go and it's going to be a psychic i didn't see what it was likely defense form deoxys but we'll have to see stone edge comes through it is a defense form deoxys so we're going to go straight into the frostlass get ahead on energy right here this is where that powder snow damage really adds up as you guys can see um, I mean, Hex would do well as um, as well in this matchup, right? Super effective damage, but Powder Snow does really nice on neutral damage as well. So we're going to build up to two Avalanches right here. If we get a shield, we can instantly go for another. Um, so we are going to go ahead and throw it. We do get a shield. Fantastic. We're just going to go for another one right there. And the energy gain is still so strong um, with Powder Snow. Now, Hex would still do well in this case. That's what I'm letting you guys know. I tested out both and both did great for me. Now we do see the Ferrothorn now come in. A Power Whip will be coming through and this is why I said I couldn't really go into Frostlass because Power Whip is going to do quite a bit of damage as you guys can see but Frostlass energy gain is so strong and we're going to be able to get to um, the Avalanche right here to finish off Ferrothorn so that is going to be a good first game. Now we are going to see quite a few lead losses towards the tail end of this video to showcase the ability to flip matches with Frostlass. Um, some of these first ones I think were more neutral or lead wins or maybe wins you guys didn't know that were possible. Um, so what we're going to see right here, I believe this is Galarian Stunfisk. So we have Venusaur versus Galarian Stunfisk. 
This is actually a lead win for us, everyone. It's pretty solid. So we're going to stay in right here. And this is what's great is Venusaur is widely maybe unknown against Galarian Sunfisk. We haven't seen in the meta. They're throwing a Rock Slide. We don't need to shield right here. It does some nice neutral damage. But what I want you guys to see is we're going to overload a bit and we're going to go for a Frenzy Plan. Now watch how much damage this does to a Galarian Sunfisk. It's quite a bit. It's really nice. So here comes the Frenzy Plan and it absolutely chunks the Galarian Sunfisk right there. And here comes another Rock Slide. We don't need to shield right here, but I think I might have. No, we don't shield, we survive the rock slide, and we are just going to go ahead and go um, for the frenzy plant again. So this is gonna KO if they decide not to shield. They do shield, that's fine. They don't shield, great. Now we're gonna see an Azumarill come in, which is really risky by my opponent because I can get to another Frenzy Plant in time. That is why Vine Whip on a uh, Venusaur is so strong right here. Now we will be forcing a shield, which is great. And then we're gonna go ahead and come in with Frostlass now. So Frostlass with Powder Snow um, is still going to do okay against the Zoomerill. Shadow Ball is really what you want to be going for. The Avalanche is there for that shield baiting opportunity. So we're going to go ahead and shield right here. It's just an Ice Beam, so well played by the Azumarill. We'll likely see more Ice Beams, but what you have to be careful of is those Play Roughs. That Play Rough and Hydro Pump is really deadly um, in neutral damage, but we do land the Shadow Ball, which is fantastic. Now when Azumarill is in this range, we can just go for Avalanche right here. It's going to be pressuring that shield. It's going to be pressuring the health and we may see a shield here on the Azumarill, which we do. Fantastic. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shield ourselves. Now, I'm not sure what they have in the back, but they are not swapping out, which means Frostless could do well against it. Maybe it's a flyer. Maybe it's a grass. We don't know, but we can get to the avalanche. Now, they did get to another charge move right here, but this was a bit quick, which makes me think it's just going to be an ice beam, which it is. So hopefully I didn't hit the avalanche. We're going to over farm. This is where that energy gain is so deadly. Look, we're almost at another, another avalanche right here. So whatever's in the back is about to get hit with that. So the avalanche now landing takes out the Azumarill, and it's going to be a grass-type Pokemon. I didn't see what it was, but I believe it is a Meganium. So avalanche is going to absolutely destroy grass-type Pokemon. We swap into the Bastiodon to do a nice little flex on our opponent, and that is going to be a good game right there. Um, so as you guys saw, that is a lead win against Galarian Stunfisk. It's very strong, and if you want to go into shields with it, you can. Um, but people may not be prepared for how much damage that Frenzy Plant will do. So now we have Venusaur versus Meganium on the lead. So like I said, we're going to see a couple of those lead wins from meta Pokemon that we see. And then we're going to take a look at lead losses towards the end of the video. Um, if you guys want to check out the Hex part, those are all basically lead losses. So now this is a great swap, right? Um, Galarian Stunfisk now comes in. We can't come in with Bastiodon. We can't come in with Frostlass, but we still have Frostlass for Meganium. But we can get to another Frenzy Plant right here. So Charge Move now coming through going to be the rock slide we're not going to shield um, but we've already shown how much damage we can do with frenzy plant we're going to load up a bit extra and go ahead and go for the next frenzy plant right here um, now i'm curious what they have in the back it may be an azumarill um, potentially and they do shields which tells me okay maybe it is an azumarill and like venusaur is like the mvp right here i could potentially sweep the whole team with just venusaur um, so we're going to go ahead and shield right here and i want to try to get that last shield if i can we're going to overload just a little bit just in case they let this galarian stun fist go down that's what's important having a bit of extra energy so you can get to another charge move they let it go down so what is going to be in the back now i don't imagine we'll see meganium we do see meganium come in but they go ahead and go um, for the charge move right here which is going to be the frenzy plan and that'll be taking us out um so could have shielded the rock slides right there but this is where frost Ice is going to come in and do a lot of damage now frenzy plan is going to do quite a bit of damage right here um, but we're not going to shield we're going to go ahead and let it go through it does quite a bit and like i said frost Ice is dangerous um, when you have basically like some energy and you can land these hard hitting charge moves right here so avalanche going to be taking out meganium and they have a zapdos in the back very curious um, why they brought in maybe um, the Meganium to my Venusaur, right? What if I shielded and got off a Sludge Bomb? But this is where that wall of Bastiodon is fantastic at covering um, those flyers, like we said. And as you guys can see, it's just an absolute wall. We're just going to be able to take it down with fast moves alone, and that's going to be a GG. I'm going to go ahead and just shield this just in case it's like a Zap Cannon or something, but it's just going to be another Thunderbolt, and that will be a good game to my opponent. So, so far things are looking good, right? Things are looking good, but now I think we're going to start seeing some lead losses and what a Frostlass can do with Powder Snow with that. Um, so here we go. 
I believe we faced off against Flyers. That's basically what I saw. So we have Venusaur versus Altaria, right? Hardly lost. We go straight into Frostlass. Frostlass is great here. Likely going to see an Azumarill coming. We chunked a lot of bit of health. Here comes the Azumarill. So this is a great matchup right here. And what you want to do is go for that Shadow Ball first. Um, the Azumarils are basically unfamiliar with the damage that Frostlass can do, and they're not going to shield a Shadow Ball right away. It does a lot. Now, we are within range here to start doing some avalanches. We obviously want to load up on energy. We need to start shielding ice beams right here because we know they're going to start shielding here soon too. So I go for an avalanche right here. This is a great shield baiting opportunity. They're just at a charge move. Um, we have loaded energy. We do get a shield. Fantastic. Now this is where powder snow kind of loses um, to the hex right there because we would have had more energy gain and we could have gotten to the shadow ball before they got to the next charge move. Um, so I actually go for the shadow ball right here. Um, um, after playing with Frostlass a bit more, it's better to go for that next Avalanche if you can because they likely shield twice. Um, and you really need to flip that matchup, right? You really need to have Basudon lined up against Altaria and hope that Venusaur can finish off in the back. Now, we are going to go down right here, but we're going to go ahead and bring in the Venusaur. We're going to load up on energy, absolutely load, risk it for the biscuit, not even throw, because Sludge Bomb still does a lot of damage to an Altaria. So we are going to go for the Sludge Bomb right here. This is going to do neutral to Altaria. This is why Venusaur is fantastic against fighting back against some of those flyers. And then we're going to swap right into Bastiodon. And we're going to hope that they don't have something that beats us. It is going to be a defense form Deoxys. So this game is going to be pretty close. We're going to go for flamethrowers right now. Flamethrower going to be doing neutral damage. You can typically get to two flamethrowers here in this matchup. Um, it's going to be tough if you go for stone edges um, because you won't be able to get to basically a stone edge and a flamethrower just from the counter damage. Now they are going for a charge move. It is going to be rock slide, which does nothing to Bastiodon. So hopefully we can get to this next flamethrower in time. They are going for another charge move right here. So it's like, okay. Can we make it to the flamethrower? We really need the flamethrower right here. This is like make or break. We don't get the flamethrower. That would have been huge right there because what's gonna happen is they're gonna be able to go for their uh, second charge move here. And this is probably gonna be a rock slide, could be a psycho boost, and it is gonna be a psycho boost and that, that deletes us right there. They're gonna swap into the Altaria, do a nice flex on us with a sky attack. And that is gonna be a good game. So as you saw right there, the matchup against Azumarill in the mid game is pretty close, right? Um, we got close to flipping that. If I would have gone for Avalanche, I think we might have been able to have it. Um, but what we're going to see here soon, I don't believe it's this one. This is another um, uh, Powder Snow game, but we do have another lead win. So like something you guys are going to see is Azumarill. Now they do swap into Toxicroak. So I'm like, okay, we're just going to go for a Frenzy Plant right away. This is going to do a lot of damage to a Toxicroak. And if they don't shield, that's fine. We can come right in now with our Frostlass. So we're going to load up on some more energy and we're going to go into Frostlass right now and let them throw. Um, if they throw Sludge Bomb, fine. If they throw Mud Bomb, fine. It's going to do neutral and it's not going to, it's not going to KO us. Um, so they decided to go for Mud Bombs right there. So this is likely going to be another Mud Bomb. So a back to back and we can survive and we can just farm down with powder snow this is where that powder snow damage is really really nice now we are expecting the azumarill to come back in but we will have to see the azumarill does come back in we go straight for shadow ball right here this is where frostlass can do so well at like tail end of um, of its health is getting off these hard hitting charge moves potentially get to another but no we're going to go down to bubble and that's fine so azumarill's at half health um, but has some loaded energy so we're going to come in with the venusaur now um, so we have to see what they do have in the back. I got to be wary and it's going to be a Lolan Marowak. So just like before, like I said, we build up. If they go for a shield, we go for a shield. That's what we have to do because fire spin Lolan Marowaks will typically run with bone club and that's what they're just going to be throwing off right here. They're going to be throwing bone club after bone club. They can with this win this matchup if they have shield advantage. Um, so now we're just going to be going for a stone edge right here again pressuring right away not even going to mess around We do get a shield which is fantastic And then we are just going to commit to basically farming down. I'm going to go ahead and shield one I think I shield right here. Maybe it's the next one. Yeah, I shield right here We know from before right and then they go for another one right away This is okay We can finish off with fast moves alone or they may try to switch but we're not going to give up our second shield Even with this we can still um, do some nice damage now They don't get it, but they swap into a zoom roll. So what we're going to do is go for stone edge right here um, Alolan Marowak is very very low, but our Venusaur has loaded energy They don't shield and now we can basically just shield right here 
um, and commit to the farm down, but I think I decide to throw just in case. Um, they, they only have play rough, which is beautiful. Um, so now we are just going to commit to the farm down. I did commit to the farm down right there, and then we're just going to go for back to back um, frenzy plants right here, basically. Um, now we can just, I think, hit one vine whip and they're going to be gone. Yeah, one vine whip and they're, they're basically gone, and that is going to be a good game. So. We saw some nice lead wins there. We saw some nice lead loss or a lead loss. Um, but now we're going to get into the hex. Okay, so now getting into the hex matchups that are lead losses. If you guys skipped ahead, welcome. Some of the other battles were some nice lead wins and what this team can handle. Now we're going to showcase the lead losses here. So there we go, Skarmory. Now we're going to swap into Frostlass with Hex, and we are going to see a Zoomerol. Like we saw before, it's very tough with a Powder Snow um, Frostlass to really flip that matchup. You have to basically go Shadow Ball, Double Avalanche in order to finish that. But on Hex, guys, the energy and damage is so nice the added bit of extra neutral damage really starts to add up here as the powder snow is resisted and we're just going to go straight shields right here i need to flip this matchup so now what we're going to do is build up to two avalanches as you guys can see we have back to back right now there is so much energy on this frost last now they do get a shield which is great we're going to load up again another charge move is going to come through and what i'm going to do is build up to another double if i can we're going to be counting right here so they just threw another ice beam but i I think I can get it. So now we are at a back to back. That's how quick Hex is. It's absolutely deadly to deal with. Um, so now we go for the avalanche. We get another shield, which is fantastic. We're going to build up one more and we're going to go for shadow ball right here. You can go for avalanche right there, everyone. Um, this was one of the battles where I was unsure how much it would actually do, but you can go for avalanche if it's like that close, that little sliver. Um, which just saves you a bit of energy, potentially get to another charge. Now Skarmory's going to come back in, but this is beautiful for everyone. This is what we want. We bring in the wall. The wall comes in and just laughs at Skarmory. Now we see a defense form Deoxys right here, um, which is getting getting some energy real quick, but we can get to a Frenzy Plant. Um, frenzy Plant's going to do some nice neutral damage in this matchup, and if this defense form Deoxys wants to take me out, it has to have Psycho Boost, which means it does less damage with counter. That's the give and take with the Psycho Boost here, right? It can take out my Venusaur, but if you throw the Psycho Boost, your counters are now going to do like no damage to Bastiodon. So he goes for back to back, or this battler goes for back to back. Psycho Boost, I'm totally fine with this. Bastiodon doesn't care. Your attack is so far gone, you're tickling Bastiodon right now with your tentacles. It's just, you're just not doing anything. They're skarmoring the back. I'm loading up on all the energy in the world. Shields are gone. You're not doing any damage to me. Just farm down. Here comes the Skarmory. We go for the Flamethrower here. Flamethrower, again, you want to use against the Skarmory. Stone Edge, you want to use against Altaria because it is part Steel type right here on the Skarmory. So, this is going to be a good game. Um, there's really nothing this Skarmory can do as most Skarmories are running with Brave Bird and Sky Attack now. So, they have opted out for um, a Flash Cannon, which still wouldn't KO us. Um, but we are just going to be able to farm down right here, and this is going to be a good game. This is what happens when you flip these matchups and have that wall for the flyer right here. So Bastiodon is going to be able to farm down, and then my opponent does surrender right there. So good game, but that's just what Frostlass can do on safe, sw safe swap um, for lead losses. So now we are going to see another lead loss right here. So we have Venusaur versus Altaria, right? Bad matchup, got to flip. So we're going to go ahead and go into the frost ass right here. Like I said, getting ahead on energy. Here comes the Azumarill. Like nine times out of ten, this is most likely what you are going to see. Um, we build up a lot of energy, and now we go straight for that Shadow Ball first. Does a lot of damage, and they likely aren't going to shield. So they don't shield, which is fantastic. And now we can live in the realm of avalanches. Now we are going to shield ourselves. Like I said, you don't want to play rough to be hitting you at all. You just, you really don't want anything to be hitting you. So you're just going to load up on all the energy in the world. Go for back to back avalanches right here. So one avalanche is going to be coming through. They're definitely going to be questioning and they're going to shield, right? They're going to shield. And then another charge move is going to be coming through. And because of the energy gain, we can build to another back to back avalanche. So another play rough comes through. We're going to load up. As you guys can see, I go for back to backs. This is just in case they decide not to shield because um, what's going to happen is you guys are going to see avalanche is going to come through they're going to let it go which we ko and then the altaria is going to come back in really into an avalanche Fro oh man frostlass is so good everyone the avalanche now comes through gets the shield which is beautiful they are going to load up on energy but with a bastard on we don't care and they actually swap into a meganium which is 
beautiful for us, right? We can go for the sludge bomb right here. Um, now I couldn't swap in time. I went down too fast, but the sludge bomb will do a lot of damage. Um, and then we are just going to sit this out, let him hit us with the charge move. And then what I'm actually going to do is a little flex, a little flex on him. We're just going to swap into Bastion right now and farm him down with Smackdown. And then the Altaria is going to come in. As you're going to see, Altaria cannot do anything to a Bastion. Bastion is the OG anti flyer before Reggie Steel, before Galarian Sunfisk. It was the land of the wall face right here. And as you guys can see, he still does well. In this matchup, like I said, we want to be going for Stone Edge. It does super effective damage to an Altaria here and a lot of damage at that. And that is going to be a good game. So well played to my opponent. Um, but you know it's tough to battle with that frost last on the safe swap so now we're going to move into the final battle here um, showing another counter which is going to be a hypno right shadow hypno at that very very dangerous because venusaur is part poison typing so we see a shadow hypno we're going to go straight into the frost last like before if it ain't broke don't fix it we're just going straight into frost last gaining a lot of energy they loaded up and they swapped into a bomb of snow which is really interesting so um, a bomb of snow right has access to um, the weather ball we're going to go ahead and let it hit us it's not going to do too much damage but we got to be careful here so we're just going to go for avalanches because it's part green grass typing right avalanche is still going to do some nice damage here now we do get a shield which is fantastic we're going to build up again to a back to back we're going to go ahead and fire right away again this is going to do a lot of damage if it goes unshielded which we're perfectly fine with they don't shield that's fine now what we're going to do is we're going to shield ourselves right here. We're going to commit to the farm down. And like I said, if you build up that extra energy in the mid game, Frostlast can destroy with that extra health. Look at that. We almost have two avalanches. Now I'm watching carefully in the top right to see what comes in. If it's the Hypno, we're going straight Shadow Ball. If it's something else, we may go into the avalanche. But it's going to be a Hypno, so we're going straight Shadow Ball right here. It's going to do quite a bit of damage. If they don't shield, they do shield, which is fantastic. And now we can bring in the Bastiodon. So Bastiodon with a shield as well is going to be really really solid in this matchup now what you have to be careful of is focus blast right hypno does have it but most people just run double punch so we're going to go ahead and let it go risk it for the biscuit and it looks like they are running double punch themselves maybe a thunder punch fire punch right here so we're going to go ahead and not shield again it's going to be another fire punch and they are going to swap now into a stun fisk which is beautiful venusaur does really well right here and we're just going to go ahead and go for frenzy plant now we're not going to shield um, but mud bomb is still going to do some nice neutral damage because of our part poison typing as you guys can see we're going to overload a bit on energy and i got a little risky right there i should have just basically thrown right should have just thrown um, but a mud bomb does come through, but that's okay. We're going to load up some more now and now go for the frenzy plant. What I also don't want to happen is this hypno to farm a lot of energy off of me, right? It still has fire punch. Um, so we um, take out the stun fisk right there. Now we try to go for the frenzy plant, but we can't get it in time. Hypno is loaded on energy, but we have the bass suit on. We're going to go ahead and shield right here and just call that they're just going straight fire punches, which they do. And we're going to go ahead and go for the flamethrower. Now flamethrowers going to do some nice neutral damage because of the shadow type Hypno is going to take a bit more damage than it normally would um, and then we're going to be able to farm down with Smackdown and that is going to be a good game to my opponent. So as you guys saw right there, um, this team is very fun. It's very solid. If you guys are facing those flyers, those hard counters on the lead, you have great coverages in the back. And I had a lot of fun running with it today. Gained a lot of solid points. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know down in the comments what you guys thought about the team, what you guys think about Frostlast with Hex on the safe swap. It's honestly very, very deadly, especially against those typical Azumarill's that we come in. It's similar to the Alolan Marowak that I ran last week with Hex Shadow ball where you can just go straight hex shadow ball but in this case you're not going to be taking super effective damage from bubble which is really nice so um i hope you guys enjoyed the video and like always thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one